Okay, friends, well, even though it's still chilly out, we are actually getting close to summer. And during the summertime, even though it's still a little different because we can't really go to the beach or go to the pool or even really go to the park sometimes, and we have to stay home a lot more, summer is also a time where you get a chance to be really creative and spend time with yourself and spend time with your imagination and so i'm gonna read a couple of books for the next few weeks um that really focus on kind of your imagination and where you can go and what you can do even when you're just by yourself um I'm gonna start with this one today. It's called Lily Brown's Paintings and it's by Angela Johnson and it's illustrated by E.B. Lewis. And I took it from my bin of books all about imagination. Here we go. Lily Brown's Paintings. Scooch right there, that's better. Hmm, like I said, I might not be able to go to the beach, but I love this picture. The ocean and fishes. Lily Brown loves her mama, daddy, and baby brother, and the world they live in. Sometimes she spins around her room thinking about their world, and it's wondrous. But when Lily Brown paints, her world starts to change. The sunlight turns to stars, and Lily begins flying around them. All the universe is one big, colorful splash. The stars circle the planets in Lily Brown's paintings. And sometimes they come down to earth to hang around sidewalk cafes and shine when the sun goes down. When Lily Brown paints, the trees that she walks past on her way to school wear hats and drink tea on cool days with other trees and shrubbery. They know Lily and bow to her. So you might not be able to see something like this when you go for a walk in the real world, but you can see it in your imagination and then you can create it in your artwork and make it real. When Lily Brown paints fruit at the corner market, it's striped and polka dotted. It speaks to people then laughs out loud. When people put the fruit in bags to take home, the apples sing all the way there. Lily Brown's paintings, painting, uh, in Lily Brown's paintings, the path to the park becomes a wild animal living room. With antelopes lounging and alligators on the phone, Lily always remembers to draw them a treat. In Lily Brown's paintings, softly blowing rose-colored winds bring voices from across the ocean to tell stories that she has never heard. Then she listens and paints with blues and orange to let the wind know she has heard them. Sometimes Lily herself walks around in her paintings or sails away through fields of red corn and purple painted skyscrapers. In Lily Brown's paintings, the colors of people, places, and things change with her heart. People walk upside down, and the buildings on the streets dance with airplanes flying above, and it's another world. Lily paints all the things that she sees and feels her own way. She puts her world of color and light on anything she can find. It's magical. But at the end of the day, when Lily Brown is about to put her paints away, she remembers her mama's smile, her daddy's eyes, and the way her baby brother holds her hand before he goes to sleep. It's their world again, and it's wondrous. Friends, today I'd love you to take something that is normal and real and imagine how it could be different. So maybe it's a tree that is rainbow colored. Maybe it's a thing that doesn't normally talk, but you turn it into something that can talk with a face and a speech bubble. 
Maybe it's something like the buildings that we're dancing, something that doesn't move but can move. Just think of one thing. It doesn't have to be a whole world like how Lily imagines the whole world to be different, but just think of one thing that's normal and turn it into something different and imaginary. Send us the picture.